Hi, and welcome to Studio One Explained. In this video series, we're going to cover all the aspects of this new digital audio workstation called Studio One. We're going to focus on Studio One Professional, and we're going to take a look at everything that it has to offer for the studio owner, the songwriter, and the musician who want to record very high quality tracks. Studio One offers a lot of the things that you might find in other systems, but it offers it in a package that has been thought through to make it easier to use, faster workflow, and more integrated from end to end. So as you learn Studio One, you'll find that it's very natural to use, and it works the way you expect. But we'll also uncover some of the depth in Studio One, allowing you to take on almost any kind of music production project. Studio One is nicely organized. This is the main screen, and if I play back the, this little piece of this song, You'll see that we've got audio loops, we've got an instrument track playing a virtual instrument, and we've got a lead line that we've put together through comping. We're gonna cover all of these topics and many more in this series. Also how to apply effects, how to do mastering and do digital releases, or release a CD master. One of the really cool things about Studio One, just besides the way it works on the main screen here, is that we have a project page, and the project page allows you to organize your songs in a very interactive way and release CD masters right within the solution without ever leaving Studio One. In virtually all other digital audio workstations, you need to go to a separate program. But in Studio One, it's built right in. So if you have a band that's coming in and recording numerous tracks and you want to send them home with a prototype CD that very day, it's very doable and very simple to do with Studio One. Studio One also supports Mac and PC, even the new 64-bit versions of Windows and OS X. It also supports third-party plugins and third-party effects, and I think you'll find that it can become the core of your recording setup. And I think that you're really going to enjoy both the video series and using Studio One. So thanks for watching. We'll get started right away in the next video.